friends, hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today we'll finally be starting with files. So we'll just be doing the basic reading from a file. Now, in my source code, um, I do recommend you build your own one of these and just save it and run it. But in my source code, I have two files. Test1.txt and Test2.ownx10. This is just to show you how to read from two different files with two different extensions. So this own extension is just my own extension I created, it's not something specific. Now if you are running a Delphi 10.3, then I recommend you take these two files and you just put them in this here Windows 2, Windows 32. Just put them in here and it will be able to read them. But if you're going to try and run it from this button here and it's not in here, you'll have to redirect it back to folders to read this. But anyways, let's continue. So let's just open up this so we can keep an eye on this part here. Now, basically, when we read from a file, we're going to click on this button and it's going to display the text inside of that file inside of this rich edit. Now let's get to it. First thing I recommend you do is to always clear your memo or rich edit, whichever you have. Here I have in rich edit. So I'll go readout.lines.clear. And to read from a file, it would be readoutput.lines.load from file. This is all you need to read from a file. Just basic reading from a file. Nothing specific, just getting all the text and throwing it into the read output. Now, here we have a test1.txt. Now, copy all of that, including the extension .txt. Because we can't let it get confused between test1 and in no extension. It's just not working correctly there. So then you just do that, press Ctrl D, press save, and just run it. And we'll see if it runs and reads from the file. So inside of this file, we have your reading from a file. All right. And in here, read from file, you are reading from a file. As you can see, it does display. And because we have a read output that lines to clear, you can click as many times as you want on this button, but it will not affect the how this is displayed. Now, to read from a different extension is the same process. You can just copy the whole name, including the extension, and then just replace it. It's exactly the same as what you do with a normal file. Because it's just a normal text file because Dalphi will take this as just a text file. I'm pretty sure if you you were to put an image in here, you'll probably get the image code. But I'm not sure, so I'm not going to do that. As you can see, you can also read from custom extensions. And as you can see here, we'll open that with Sublime Text. Put it in here. You can also read from custom extensions. And that's all guys, that's how you read from a file. It's very simple and it is something you'll use a lot in the future. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.